Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on Bond channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's video, we are going to show you how to move from Google Ads to AutoCAD. On the previous video, we've shown you how to move from AutoCAD to or to Google Ads, right? Good. So now we are going to show you how to move from Google Ads to AutoCAD. So we are going to open what the KML file that we saved on that video. So we go to files and then we click on open. So this is the sketch we used on that video and then it's been navigated to that point, right? Good, so we're actually there. Let's just do a few settings and then because the color doesn't come up, we can actually make this maybe red and then perhaps um, increase what the width to maybe three or something. So you can see now that um, it's legible, right? Good. So now, what we want to do is that we are going to now move this what KML file to what to AutoCAD using what Global Mapper. So we're actually on Global Mapper. Let's now open that file open on Global Mapper. Good. So we have the sketch here open, and this is the sketch, right? Good. So now, so how do you convert what a KML file to what to Google Earth using what Global Mapper? Now, one thing to note is that if the coordinate reference system or the coordinates of that your KML file is actually geographic, it's always best you convert it to what a projected CRS because you know the geographic uses them latitude and longitude which actually arc degrees, whereas the projected is actually what your maybe eastern and northern the unit is actually meters, right? Good. So and most times we use the meters in a, a DXF or DWG. So that's um, a very important thing to note. So let's try to see if we can export it directly, which we will see maybe if there is any error message. So we click on what we click on the file, right click and then come down to layer. Then we go to what export layers to a new file. Now the export format is either DXF or DWG, depending on the format you want to use. But let's say use DXF and then we click on OK. Now there's a warning which we have told you earlier. We do not recommend exporting to this format using the currently selected projection, which is actually geographic, right? With non-linear units. So as many other applications cannot properly scale data with um, non-linear units like um, at degrees, which is the unit for geographic. So we need to reproject these are what are um, KML that is in what a geographic CRS toward um, a projected coordinate reference system. So there is a hint on how to do it. UTM is a good choice for relatively small areas and Mercator is okay for what very large areas. So we are going to use what UTM and then we are also going to identify the zone. So we can actually close this because we are not going to export it this way. So we come down to tools and then we go to configure, right? Good. Now under configure, we come down to projection and then the projection here is what um, geographic, but we are going to select what UTM. So we select UTM and then it's actually in under, maybe it's under zone 32. So that's the Northern Hemisphere, the datum is what WGS 1984. Now you can see the unit here is in meter, right? Good. Or the unit here is meters, right? Good. So we just um, apply that and then we click on OK. So this layer has been reprojected towards a, a projected code reference system, which will be easier to what to export to AutoCAD. Please ensure you take note of this process because it's actually this particular stage of the tutorial because it's actually very important, right? Good. So now, okay. Now that warning doesn't come up again because we are now using what a projected code reference system, which we are going to confirm when we have exported to AutoCAD, right? Good. So now. The data that has been exported is using what the display projection and the rest of that. So we click on OK. So we are going to leave what the export options as default and then we click on OK. So we are working on a folder called um, KML to DXF. So let's call this um, test and then the file is actually AutoCAD DXF. We click on save. Good. So it has been exported. We are now going to access that file on AutoCAD, right? Good, so we are on AutoCAD and we've actually exported that um, KML file that we add on Google Earth to AutoCAD. And you can see the coordinates of that um, of that point is actually the projected coordinates of those points. 
let's say of the area let me just use because that's not the point but of the area we can actually confirm this um, back on google it you know you can see the coordinate range when it is actually in what in um, utm right good so you can see 271 maybe 538 if we come back to autocad you can still see similar things 271538 so this is the maybe the simple procedure or these are the simple steps with which you can actually move from what from um, google it down to what to autocad using what global mapper as what your interface so thanks for coming to class we hope um, we've provided solution to this particular solving problem we are going to see you on our next video ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye